welcome back to another reading vlog. It is Tuesday, March 23rd, I think, and I just got home from work, which is why I look tired. I'm just about to hop in the shower, but I wanted to talk about what I'm reading, what I've started. I have started Legendborn by Tracy Dion, and I'm on page, I'm on page 107, and I'm already really loving it. I I've read a lot. I read a lot yesterday and I'm really really liking it. I love the cover first of all but this is about a girl who lost her mother in an accident or at least that's what everyone thinks and she included and she goes to this school thing but kind of a high school but they have college courses and it's on a campus. And there she discovers that there is a secret society that does magic and hunts demons and kill demons. And yes, it reminds me of that show on Netflix where this guy goes to college and there's a secret society, which I haven't watched. I think I watched the first episode and I'm like, no, but it reminds me of it. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm really liking it so far. And... Yeah, I'm in the mood for fantasy, so this has just been perfect so far. Yes, and she starts to discover that the accident with her mom might not have been an accident, and something's up, something's going on, and she wants to figure it out. But I'm, as you saw, not too far, so probably a lot more happens that I'm not aware of yet, but we'll see. I'm really liking it. I will probably read a lot tonight. I need to go shower and then I have an assessment to do for tomorrow's class but then I'm free for the night so might just read some hopefully but yes this is my current read my only current read and I'm loving it Hey guys, it is Wednesday and it's about 3 o'clock right now and I have to go to work in like half an hour and I work the rest of the night but I wanted to update you guys on Legendborn. I haven't read anything today because I had school this morning and yeah but I read some yesterday and I'm on page 188 and I am loving it. We have a like male interest and I'm hoping that this turns into a romance because I don't really like romance books I don't really read romance but I do really really enjoy a good one in fantasy books so I'm hoping for that we get introduced to this male very fast in the beginning and he takes on a role and then things kind of evolve when she found she finds out things about the society and the world and everything but I haven't really gotten more than that yet but I'm hope hoping to get more because I'm like early in the book and I'm like already shipping them and I'm really hoping for it because I do really like a good romance in a fantasy book love that so I'm hoping for that but I might get to read some tonight after work before I go to sleep but I'm not sure or else I'm gonna read tomorrow and hopefully finish it this week. It's a thick book obviously, but anything is possible. So yeah, that's my little update. I haven't read too much, but I'm going through it at least. I am really enjoying it. So yes. It is Thursday and I just got home from work. I had a really really short shift today so that's 
awesome. But me and my mom are gonna go and run some errands really quick and as soon as I get home I will read Legendborn and I'm very excited. <laughs> Hello guys, it is Friday and I don't have work today. I just have a little bit left of school in a bit, but other than that, I'm three. But I wanted to update you guys on my reading. I did end up reading a bit last night or yesterday and I am now on page 288. Let me actually check how many percent percent I'm in. I think I'm over halfway. I am 57% in. So over halfway, which is very exciting. I love the fact, uh, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but I love the fact that the chapters are pretty short. I have a very hard time with long chapters because I get bored and I get exhausted. <laughs> I tend to read the books faster if the chapters are shorter so I love that and that's a plus. Also the thing that I was talking about the little bit of romance that I was waiting for and wanting kind of happened a little bit. We're getting there and I'm hoping for more. I'm really into it. As I said I really do enjoy romance in fantasy books because I don't really read romance books but romance in fantasy is great. So yeah I'm liking that and it's very it's it's good, I really liking it, but it's a lot of words and how do you explain it? It's a lot of, you know, the magic system and everything, the words and the things. It's very difficult, it's a lot to remember and it's a lot to process. Especially for me as that English isn't my first language. But I'm enjoying it. It's just a little bit much sometimes with the all of the explanation of the world and the magic system and all but I'm really enjoying it overall I'm excited probably gonna finish it this weekend so yes I'm making progress I have some stuff to do some assessments to do before I'm done for the day but after I'm done with that I will read and make progress in Legendborn and I'm excited for it. I work the entire weekend, but weekends are pretty chill, so probably will still have energy to read when I get home. So I'm excited about that. But let's get back to school for a little bit. So I've been really into like my planner recently. Been more and more like liking that and exciting about that. Not bullet journaling, but I have a planner and I write in it and I'm doodling in it and stuff and I want to get some stickers for it and I found a lot of on Amazon but I'm not sure what to get I have added some to my wish list but I'm not sure I'm thinking about buying some today so that it can arrive next week but I'm very I've been very into that lately and it's very fun to sit and plan and doodle and put stickers on it but I'm gonna show you the stickers that I'm planning on buying. So this is what it looks like. It's so many planner stickers. I know that there's other so many stickers other in this series, but this seems like a good one. I think it has over 2,000 stickers, small stickers, and that's exactly what I want, a lot of small stickers. I'm thinking about buying this one. Does anyone have it? What do you guys think? Page 343 
and I'm getting so sleepy. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it, and I'm over the 300 pages like mark, so that's good. Yay. I love being home alone when it's like peace and quiet. I need absolute quiet, preferably if I want to read. So last night I was going to read and my dad had a friend over and they watched soccer. It was some sort of big game and they were, you know, talking loud, screaming loud and the TV was on loud. So I couldn't concentrate and everything kind of blurred together, which makes things makes things confusing because I need absolute quiet if I'm gonna take everything in so it's so nice being home alone and being able to have that imagine when I move out and live on my own it's gonna be peace and quiet all the time <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna continue reading some and we'll see where I stop I Maybe, no. I don't think I'm gonna finish it today, but we'll see. If the last couple of hundred pages is super interesting, I might finish it, but we'll see. I just want to update you guys that I finished Legendborn last night, and I ended up giving it four out of five stars. I really enjoy it. I recommend it if you like YA fantasy. So this is about a girl named Brie, Brianna, who loses her mother in an accident, a car accident, and she go, mo moves to this new school where you live on campus, so she's leaving her father, father behind and stuff, and this is the school where her mother also attended, and pretty quickly when she arrives, she discovers this society that's pretty secret and pretty odd. She gets a memory back and she starts to think that her mother's accident wasn't an accident because of the memory that she got back. But she starts to like nestle in this society. She wants to find out what actually happened to her mother. So she starts to make friends and she wants to be in the trials for this society. And she meets a lot of people along the way and also a guy that I'm just really I'm liking the romance. <laughs> and through this journey, she discovers so much more about herself and the world and her mother. It's really beautiful and it handles loss and grief very well, I think. And I love that the chapters are on the shorter side. It's a plus for me. The magic system and the society and stuff is inspired by King Arthur. And I'm not really familiar with that story, which made it a little bit more difficult for me because I had to like learn it as it's new for me but if you are familiar with the King Arthur you will probably understand more but I'm not so and I'm not really into it either but I did enjoy this book either way but yes four out of five star I really enjoyed it probably one of my favorite fantasies I've read in a while and I would love more I would love if it's the series yes really recommend this and my next book is going to be King and the Dragonflies, which I already started. I just read one chapter this morning, but this is going to be my next read. And I don't know a whole lot about it. It's about a guy named King, or he calls himself the King, who lost his brother very unexpectedly. He was very young. And now he believes that his brother has turned into a dragonfly. And yes, I don't really know. I think you can... My in interpretation is that he's, this is his coping mechanism that, you know, how everyone handles loss and grief differently. And I think that this, this is his coping mechanism to believe that his brother has turned into a dragonfly. But I'm only one chapter in, so I don't know a whole lot, but it has very good reviews. Everyone seems to love it. It's supposed to be a very beautiful story about loss and grief, and I'm very excited about it. It's a pretty quick one, and the text is also very big, so I'm probably going to get through this pretty quickly. But I do work tonight, but I'm going to read some before, and we'll see. But I'm excited for it. But I'm just going to go eat some breakfast while watching some YouTube videos, and 
and I will get back to with reading. Hello guys, it is Sunday evening <clears throat> and I'm about to <clears throat> go to bed because I'm pretty tired. It's been quite a work week actually, but yes, I'm gonna go to bed soon, but I wanted to update you guys and tell you about this book. So King and the Dragonflies. I haven't read anything today because I was super tired after work. But I did read quite a bit yesterday and I'm on page 167 and it's a very short book so I'm almost done with it. I'm liking it. It's a very <clears throat> sad and kind of heartbreaking story about this boy who calls himself King and he lost his brother recently very like suddenly. He was very young and you get to follow him trying to find his identity without him finding a way to life without him and it's a very beautiful story and yeah I'm glad I picked it up but I have like just a few chapters left and then I'm done but I'm probably not gonna read more tonight because I think I'm gonna fall asleep immediately but I'm liking it I will most likely finish it soon because I'm almost done with it and yeah I'm not sure like what rating we're gonna give it but it's a leaning towards a pretty good rating, so that's nice. But I just wanted to update you guys on the book. So now I'm just gonna, going to plan out this upcoming week. It's quite fun to just like sit and plan, <clears throat> and then I'm going to bed. So thank you guys for watching this reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.